Good old girls and guys. Got some good old complaining to do. Some good old splaining. Uh, doing pretty good. Internet was out. We went through some stupid period with the cops. Dumbass family members. A couple, like a week back. Uh, been through some shit. We made some commentaries about it. They didn't record because, I don't know, God knows why the voice didn't record. Um... It's a lot of weird, annoying things happening, so figured I'd do some good old complaining and some playing some video games for a little bit. Some video games that are actually fun. Because I just keep dumping my life into Halo and hoping that all the skill I worked for for so many years is actually worth something, but the game makes sure it's not worth it. Other toxic people make sure it's not worth it, so... it's It's like... No matter where you want to be in life, if it's somewhere where other people are controlling or scheming in the background, you're fucked. You know what I mean? You find a girlfriend and, and things seem great and you want to stick with that person and that's where you want to be. Well, if they're scheming in the background, you're fucked. If their friends are scheming in the background, you're fucked. If their parents are, are diverging them along a course of destruction and sadness, you're fucked. You know what I mean? They respect some parent who's like 60 dying and, and they're still like smoking hella cigarettes more than they do like a boyfriend who's over there lifting their 400 pound fucking couch and breaking their back for them. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. The fact that I, it hurt, it, they can hurt you so bad that you're, you'll be talking about it years later just off of how fucking petty and selfish they are. That's how they hurt you, you know. Um, but I've just been going through some shit and life really isn't throwing me a bone so I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> It always seems to throw me a bone like four weeks after I complain about a bunch of shit. <laughs> It'll throw me a bone here and there. Uh, but me and my dad have been doing pretty good at least. Me and, me and my dad and the dogs. So that's been one positive. But other than that, like... I gotta keep keep undoing all the fun stuff I learned in my life because the world keeps finding a way to take it away, whether it's skill-based matchmaking. I've been through it. I've been over this so many times, but I have to keep talking about it because it just keeps getting worse. Skill-based matchmaking, TTV douches partied up on Smurf accounts, being super toxic. Act, they want to appear like they're the best so fucking bad. Um, toxic teammates every two seconds betraying you, taking your sniper when you're the only hope of winning and they just do it because they want the sniper so fucking bad, but they fucking suck with the sniper, so it makes no sense. Like, it literally, I don't care how long you hang in there and try to be strong. I just did it for, for like a month straight. I tried to be strong, be that solo guy who sticks up through anything, deals with all the bullshit matches, keeps playing, keeps trying, takes breaks, hops back on, you name it, it doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to be succumb to some douchebag, some douchebag interaction, some bullshit from life, your internet's going to lag, you get, a, you get a match that, on a good map, and it's up against the biggest douchebags of all time, with destated accounts, who are going to desperate on you when they're already up by 20 kills, and then the next game, you get toxic team, you get a shit map, you get a toxic teammate, and then the next game, you get a good map, but you get a toxic teammate who ruins the game anyway. Purposely lets you die so they can get your sniper rifle and then suck with it. And then if you get mad at them, they'll literally throw the rest of the game. Even though you deserve to get mad at them. Like, it's crazy, bro. And that's just, that's just the games, you know what I mean? That's just Halo. That's just a small part of life. And just trying to engage with it and love it and, and do it in a just and honest way and show your true skill and play people in a fair manner. It doesn't it doesn't matter what you do, it never works out, you know. It only seemed like it worked worked out back in 2018 when Fortnite was popping, you know what I mean? It only seemed like it worked out back when Master Chief Collection actually had a population. You know what I mean? Back when the PC version of it came out, or back when it first got fixed up on the Xbox One. It was fun. It, it was true. There was a truth there that was worth fighting for, right? Um, and it's just crazy. Like, that, the microphone problem on my computer it makes no sense. I changed nothing about my setup. There was no weird Windows update. The microphone's working fine. 
but somehow there's like some driver glitch that lost me like hours of commentary. I, I, I tried my best to make some entertaining commentaries and you know what I mean? And it's just like, they got shot down the fucking gutter. All that work, all that effort, all that breath, all that time I wasted trying to do something good, make other people happy. And it gets blown up for no reason, you know? It's just things like that that keep happening. Like somebody calls the cops on you, they come back into your life a week later, and they just like are nonstop talking. They don't want to say nothing nice to anyone else. They don't want to do nothing nice for anyone else. They want to schlop together some fucking lazy meal so that they can eat. You know what I mean? Like it's just crazy. Even though, even after you had asked them nicely, like, "Hey, we've we've had this kitchen cleaned and since you've been gone, and and we like it this way, and and you know, what I mean, you're welcome to come eat here. You're welcome to come enjoy life. It's just, please don't go back to those shit. What are they? What's the first thing they do when they enter the house? They're going back to the same shit ways, you know, treating other people outside the house nicely, very nice to them, supportive, communicative." Um, understanding, overly nice. Uh, they come back here, mean, annoying, loud, obnoxious, get in the way of people who are actually cooking a meal for somebody else, not some schlop together bullshit. It's just, it's shit like this just keeps happening and happening. It's, it's from your parents. It's from your friends. I say it all the time. It's from everyone. Humans just so like destroy each other. The illusion of friendship and having some good people around once in a while makes you think that it's not like that. And then and then you get hit in the face again with the truth. The truth. Uh, but I'm just trying to find a way forward. Life, you know, it always thro seemed to throw me a bone. And lately it hasn't been throwing me a bone. And it's just been extremely frustrating. It's like... I'm forced to do another, like, whole life overhaul. Quit, quit my favorite game that I put... You know, hundreds of thousands of matches into and all this crazy shit. And not even because I was really done with it. You know what I mean? I actually should be the funnest time that I get to have on it because I'm better than I've ever been. I got a stronger mind state. More patience. Better skill. Strong hands that I've developed through years of hard fucking work on the shit. Could just take like massive abuse, like, but I don't really get to use any of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's funny when when if I even like slightly play the game the other way, people play it with their little partied up douchebags. I don't even I don't even need someone who's nearly as good as them. You know what I mean? But that's how good I am. Is just the sec if I even use their nefarious tactics even slightly. They all get fucking crushed. They all get fucking opened up. Their little best tournament boy gets fucking out BR'd by me. Yeah, he shit on my fucking teammates that I'm partied up with, but he gets out BR'd by me, with, and he's got better internet, better teammates. He's winning by 30 kills. Oh, but he gets out BR'd by me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like... People always just find a way to make it seem like the best aren't the best, or they make it to make it seem like they're better than they are. They always find a way. Whether it's destat, like I said, destated accounts, part, it's always the same shit. I could go over the list time and time again. You know, it's not really worth wasting my breath over because I'm going to waste it over all the all types of complaining and the way things are going, you know. Anyways, that's just a little bit of the bullshit I've been going through. It's been, it's been frustrating. Because it seems like right when I'm making a breakthrough and things are going to be fun for a little bit. Nope, I'm thrown back into the same shitstorm bullshit. And people don't want to admit it, but you're like very desperately forced to... If you're trying to play any competitive video game, any online endeavor, you're like very forced to play... Ne Play with nefarious tactics, party up with people, Smurf account, DStat, all of the above, just to hope that you get some degree of fairness, some degree of the matches you deserve to play, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, when you're playing that good and you got a strong team, though, they're gonna people are gonna ruin your matches. But at least you don't got some fucking idiot betraying you, making you lose some match that you don't deserve to lose. It just it gets you know you could say well don't talk about it don't play nobody wants to hear but you're just complaining you're wasting your time blah 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 but you know people are still gonna do it other people are gonna be like me one day trying to do the same shit running into the same fucking problems and hurting their life and wasting their life ruining their patience ruining their happiness picking up bad habits because the game crushes their spirit I was just talking about to my friend today about it and he. Without me even saying anything, he literally said like basically everything I'm saying. He didn't rant about it, and he didn't say a bunch of annoying shit about it, but he did have the same fucking gripes, you know? Exactly the same gripes. Without me putting any ideas in his head, that's what he said, you know what I'm saying? Same type of guy, he's probably he's even more successful than me, he works harder than I do, He's you know doesn't play as much games as I do. And he still felt exactly... You see what I'm saying? It's just like, what the fuck? So if I'm just bullshitting, why does this other guy who's doing even better than me in life agree exactly with what I'm saying, you know? We got glitchy, annoying fucking computers. Our internet isn't as good as these fucking weirdos who live in the fucking city and they got the rich-ass family who's paying for their shit, basically. They say they're paying for their shit, but all of it's just based on the backbone of their family anyway. It's, it's just type of shit like that, you know? And when you do lo- you do run into these people and you do eventually lose to them, even if you're good, they never, these people never admit shit. They never admit how good that person they're partied up with is. They never admit that they know that they bullshitted you. They never admit anything. It's crazy. <laughs> they're just like not honest. They're not, you're dealing with crazy fucking people out there. I don't care if it's a fucking girlfriend you met on Tinder or it's a fucking guy you're playing video games against online literally the same shit nefarious tactics act a lot of times they act like they're friends and they backstab you a lot of times even friends even if they are true friends they can't hang in there because they're because life blows them away or they're too busy with their job or they're too busy with having too many friends so they just don't have time for everyone you know what i mean it's just like I'm not, it's not about being negative. I'm not being negative about life. I fucking love life. You know, get, you know, I love eating food. I love loving my dogs and my family. I, I you know, I love forgiving people and, and moving on and growing up. I love all types of things about life. It doesn't change the fact that a lot of this shit is fucking super true. And just like, if you don't continually recognize it and keep trying to grow be- because of it, it can, it continues to drag you down. Even if you had a good attitude, even if you wanted to, even if you prayed and wished and hoped for things to go an easier, happier way for you, you still end up running into the shit. You can't beat them, join them, fucking bullshit, you know? Oh, I thrash some TTV douchebag who thinks he's super fucking good and he's got fiber internet. What does he do? He goes and parties up with a guy who's even slightly better than him. It's like me and Tylenol or me and me and super S tier super god with fight with even better internet than me partied up together in social slayer and smurfs like good luck we would literally like never lose a game and even if we did the other team would be hurting so bad it's like we wouldn't even care and that's what these kids do you know they're not quite as good as me they got 90% of my skill and better internet and they're desperate to think they're better than me you know what I mean they're desperate to think they're like the best It's it's really weird It's funny because you'll you'll beat them in a match that was actually fair, and then they'll try super hard in a match that wasn't fair against you later on that day, desperately to prove that they're they're better. It's so weird, bro. And I know they're they're fucking weird with it because I've done that before. But the thing is, when I do it, I admit what the fuck is happening. You know what I mean? I'll be like, I, I I actually came back for revenge. Like, I'll admit that I was searching just to get some revenge. Or I'll admit that that match was bullshit and I got a strong team. And that, that was very much the reason the other team that was good got fucking stomped anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I admit shit. I, you know what I mean? It just, I'm not saying, like I always say, I'm not saying I'm perfect. It's just, 
the way I do things at a baseline level is just so much better and more honest and more justifiable than the way a lot of the people I have to deal with go about things, you know? I got this team of EU guys who are all almost as good as me, fucking, and they all got fiber internet, and they're all partied up in Social Slayer because they desperately hate losing on EU ping and shit. It's, it's just, like, weird, dude. I get a fucking life. These people gave up custom games against their friends like seven years ago. And for the last seven years, they've just been becoming more and more like partied up narcissist asshole fucking butthurt fucking douchebags. Like, and I know that I'm not saying I'm, I'm exclusive from this. I know because I've get those vibes about myself when I, when I do some of the things they do, you know what I mean? When I stack with four people, I feel exactly the same way. You know what I mean? That's why I don't do it. That's why when I do it, I give wins away and I don't play that hard and I put my feet up, you know what I mean? And we don't four stack all fucking day. We maybe do it for a couple matches and then we go back to fair matches, two stacking and shit on accounts with high kill death ratio. So it's, it's actually super fair. Like, it's just all types of shit like that. I go on and on. I've been having problems with some of my dreams lately and I think a lot of it just devolves down to family crumbling past trauma never really being like people hurt my life and then they just never did anything to make up for it so i have to keep doing it i have to keep repeatedly making up for it for the rest of my life it's just all the shit keeps bubbling up and adding up and it's it's annoying or it's some some douchey thing i find out on youtube like like youtube is threatening to to block my my 12 year old YouTube, my, no, my fucking, how old is that account? That account is so old. It's like, I can't even do the math. It's, it's 16 years old or whatever. He, I'm pretty sure that's how old YouTube is or something like that or some maybe a little bit more. So it, it's, it's a 16 year old account and they're threatening to, to delete my account because I said the word cringe about somebody, some girl who was extremely cringe and and then I go and I'm scrolling through a, a, f a couple of weeks later in the in the YouTube shorts. And guess what? There's a channel with hundreds of thousands of likes on like every video. And it's just a guy like using racial slurs. <laughs> like, I don't know how the fuck that's even allowed. Probably because he's making YouTube some sort of money. Like, it's just shit like that that just makes you like facepalm and cringe about life. Like, you can't say the word cringe about some girl who's clearly, like, bringing toxicity and vanity-obsessed garbage to the world. <laughs> but some other guy can go and be extremely racist, and because he's getting views, YouTube doesn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? He literally is using racial slurs and being as racist as possible without getting... Without saying the actual worst the couple of worst racist words, you know what I mean? It's just really weird. The type of shit that you go through. All this from a guy who like generally has a really good attitude. And a lot of it stems back to me. Anytime you put yourself out there, even in the slightest, there's a good chance you're getting cut off or the cops are going to pull you over, over some lying ass bullshit. You don't got your seat built on, but you actually did, and they're fucking lying. Like, it's just crazy, bro. There's literally, like, people who dedicate their lives on the internet to, like, fucking up with corrupt, fucking up corrupt cops and shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they're actually doing with a lot of their life. <laughs> no, but we don't care about that, right? About those good people who have to fight the good fight. Well, some cop gets to shoot somebody in the back because they ran away off of a petty crime and the guy had no no reason to shoot him in the back. Guy dies. Like, it's just weird. Just fucking weird. Other than that, like, personally, I'm doing fine. You know, I'm pissed at my computer because it has weird glitches sometimes. Like, I had this 8-bit dough com controller plugged in and it just wasn't showing up. So, I got to wear out my USB-C port on it. And You know what I mean? It's just shit like that. Like, why is that not working? 
It always worked. It never didn't work before. I just plugged it in. It made the, it's got the light on. Not working for some reason. Um. And your goddamn well, like Windows can could could should be able to tell you what's going on, but they just won't design shit like that to work because they just want you to repeatedly upgrade the newest thing and pay them a bunch of money. And it's funny because, like, just a few years ago, they acted like their current operating system was going to be the shit. You know, it's a, shit's going to be perfect for you. It's going to be so good. It's the best on the market. And then, and then a few years later, it's, like, glitching to shit. And you basically need to buy the new one to have shit function even somewhat normally, you know. Um, anyways, that's just a little bit about the type of shit I've been going through. Like I said, I've been having good times watching movies. I, I will talk about some of them. Or maybe not. In the, I'm not going to talk for too long here. I just needed to vent some stupid shit that's been happening to me. This is just in the back of my mind and trying to focus on other things. Got some good fitness plans for the, for this year. Um, was it already February 1st? It's crazy. Oh, January 31st, thanks. I'll take it. One more January day is good in my book. Um, yeah, like I said, good thing, good things around here. Me and my dad are going to cook up some nice chili. Got some veggie dishes going. Uh, dogs have been pretty fun. They're a little sad when people aren't around, but other than that, we've had some really good times. Just I, the thing, the reason I talk about all this shit is because like, if you don't watch it, life just like loves to back you down into this like corner, back you down into a rabbit hole that you can't, that you can't easily get out of at all. And it's like, it just keeps happening to me. And I keep having to break through it. Like, yeah, I could sit there and desperately try to get. I don't even like being like that, you know what I mean? Desperately try to win every fucking Halo match ever. Desperately try to crush people in fighting games by being an ultimate nerd with no life. Desperately try to do this or that. Desperately search for girlfriends and try to fuck them over and get sexual pleasure out of them and shit like these girlfriends do to me and stuff. You know what I mean? It's just like, I don't want to be that type of person, but life is what life's doing is life... Some aspect of life, I can't tell you what it is, if it's just spillover from other people's selfishness or what it is, but some aspect of life likes to take away your avenues of happiness and then, as hard as it possibly can, force you into bad things like drugs and sex and chasing after pleasures and chasing after excessive eating and chasing after this and that. You know what I mean? And as I talked about a lot of this stuff so many times, and it's just like, the more I go throughout my life, the more it just becomes more true. That's all I can really say about it. Doesn't never gets easier. It never goes away. You're basically you're basically either. Praying for a miracle and trying your goddamn best every second of your life just to stay away from the crap. Or you're going to succumb and it's going to hurt your life, you know. That's literally the two things, two, the only two options life gives you. Anyways, I think that's most of the complaining I felt like doing for today. Other than that, you know, I've been liking fighting games. I haven't, made, I haven't played much video games recently because the internet was out and I was just taking a couple days to actually relax for once. Um, but now we're back on the grind. I finished Momodora and that was really fun. Um, did a couple of jank boss battles that kind of pissed me off because it was so close to being really good and then it was just like ended up being jank. But other than that. I don't really care that much because I don't like excessively hard boss battles in, in, in games like Dark Souls and, and Metroidvanias. They're just not that fun, in my opinion. Because usually these games limit you. Your tools are limited. And then they give a boss unlimited power, you know. 
So you don't actually have creative ways to beat a lot of these bosses. They're not, you know what I mean? These games are designed to fight small enemies, you know what I mean? I don't care if it's Dark Souls or if it's a fucking Metroidvania. They're not designed to be boss fighting games, you know? A parrying don't even work on half the fucking bosses and shit like that, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's annoying because it's like, these games have so much potential but the developers never understand like, why are you building a game around solo combat against small enemies and normal enemies and then designing bosses that don't really, that break the mold and they don't really even, a lot of them don't even, like, fit in the game. You don't really win by getting better, you win by bullshit trial and error and frustration, you know. And the losing is not fun at all, most of the time. Anyways, let's hop into some gameplay. Check out this place, even though we don't gotta go here yet. Uh-oh. Those look like weird little jester monsters. I forgot about the sky area. There are some uh, surprisingly good, on some good news, there's some surprisingly good Metroidvanias and shit coming out. I can't really name them off the top of my head. I know one's like coming out from the developer of Pal World that looks pretty good. It's like Hollow Knight looking sort of. And that's coming out pretty soon actually. And there's there's another run one around the March time period, like early March I think. February even there might be one. Isn't there like another shop that sold all this same shit? Load shield, interesting. I mostly play this game for like the vibes and the I don't actually like the battle system. I do think it's okay, but it's just, I don't like it. I think I'm gonna like Sea of Stars because it has the type of changes that actually makes me enjoy the battling. And they could even go farther with it, but, you know, it's just nice to have a new RPG that actually did a good job. a good job in uh, farthering what Chrono Trigger basically started. And what games like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga continued. I've been a little bit interested in doing some more Link to the Past. I think I'm going to put that on the back burner for a bit. 
And I've been watching uh, Zosti do... And, and Oats and Goats and some other people do Super Metroid, so... Kind of got fired back up to play that game some more. Also been watching some other people, like, learn Hitbox and stuff. So that's been kind of interesting. So we'll see, I might I might go back on there and relearn that speedrun and, and get a new time, I don't know. I'm thinking uh, after playing quite a bit of Hyper Metroid, I think I would maybe like the Hyper Metroid speedrun more than Metroid Ascension. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure about that, but Metroid Ascension is a little quick and I'm not really a big fan of the glitches that they use in them. But I don't know. Yeah. I know that nobody likes Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Well, I shouldn't say nobody, but a lot of people didn't like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but I kind of been itching to play a Pokemon game. Like actual Pokemon too, not like an off-brand. I like Temtem, but I wish I kind of, I kind of wish I waited to play it. Cause now, like getting back into it just to like play like five hours of the end is kind of, kind of not seems like not worth it. Um, Now, one thing, like, I always wondered why some of these Halo streamers and stuff, like, played in such a weird way, like, like, they would only play with friends, or they would only play, like, team doubles, or they only play 1v1s, or, it never really made sense to me, but the more I go, the more I start to realize, like, oh, they must have had interactions like I have, but they admitted it to themselves a lot a lot quicker that this shit isn't healthy and these people that they're playing against are fucking fucked up people and shit. Well, this guy's a little fucking... a little bit of a fucking zealot. A little bit of a fucking... passionate diehard for his crazy-ass kingdom. Who's got a pendant? I don't remember. Does Chrono have it from Marley? Does Marley have it? I can't remember. The Ocean Palace we got in this age, too. Music's different. The hell. Oh. <laughs> oh, she'll care.
Jesus, there's so many people. They, they're they testing your patience here. They desperately want you to just skip people and not talk to them. I swear. None of them gave me items. Nothing. This window's blue and this one's like, that's weird. Well, I guess there's more of that shit. Oh, Shala's super hot. Uh oh. Lavos ate her fucking soul. Not my mama. Something, something's wrong with her. I've been watching like other sons around my age, and they like make TikToks with their mom and shit. And they're like, everyone else's mom is like, has a brain, and like, it's very clear that their life isn't devoted to to sin and evil stuff, and. And then I just look back at my life and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Wish I even had a bit of that. It's been like seven years since we had a bit of that, you know? Okay. Mr. Picky with his cat. It's just trying to love your cat, man. Whatever, I got dogs, bitch. My dogs are awesome. Yeah, unfortunately, Zosti isn't streaming today, and it sucks because I was just getting really into his runs, but that's how it goes. Oh, these guys are Lavos worshippers. I fucking knew it. They're feeding him the Earth's energy. Some of these old games, like, the, like, nerdiness of the story and, like, how well the characters are actually thought out just crushes and trounces new games. So even if the gameplay doesn't really hold up, the music, the story, the characters are all so good, it's like you don't even care. It's crazy. Like, if I had to pay for this, I would, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, there's other games that people put pumped millions of dollars into, and I don't give a fuck about them. They did not just say the same thing, do they? Like how we're just like casually breaking into these people's castle and shit. Nobody cares. Holy shit, is that Lavos? What is that?
I don't know why I take it so serious about reading everything in games. I know it's like a let's player kind of thing, but it's also just like, why? Like, these guys are blocking the way, like, why do I even care about them, you know what I mean? Not worth my time. I knew we had to go to that room first, too. That's the fucking annoying thing. I guess Dalton's gonna end up being a good guy and the Prophet's fucking Magus or, or basically a Magus. Oh, fuck you. There's gonna be another fucking puzzle boss. Give me one easy one. I only have this team because I was... Uh-oh. What does this do? Fire and ice, baby. Okay, then. He's a douche. I knew he was going to be a douche somehow, and he ended up being a douche in the most annoying way possible. Awesome. Oh my god, the AI is butt-fucking me, too. Of course, I get this annoying ass boss when I have the weaker team. This type of shit always happens to me, dude. It's like not even worth continuing it. Because my team's slightly weaker, it's not even worth it. Douche ass fucking game. If we can cheese him somehow, come on, man. That is not reducing my time by half. This game is so annoying sometimes. It's actually just mostly the bosses who have overpowered bullshit that make it annoying. God, this is so cringe, dude. It's the same type of shit I was talking about. Anytime it's like a situation where it has nothing to do with your skill and it's literally just like a puzzle fight where you lose the first time and then you have to correct the next time, it's so annoying. It's like poorly thought out bosses. Oh, you didn't come here with 40 revives? Well, good luck. Because the thing has a billion fucking health and it does a billion fucking damage. Woo! Fun!
And I'm just gonna do all this just to get shit on. Like, I don't know what I, why I do this. It's like, just re- oh, if you kill my guy, oh my god. Can't do no damage to him, because he's just dropping my guy in one turn every time. Two damage. Puppy's physics, what does that even mean? You have to sit here and attack them and never use a skill, that's the puzzle of the boss. Fucking stupid ass game. I don't know why I waste my time on this type of shit, dude. So just cheat. Yeah, right, I'm not good enough to beat this boss in one try. Game's just fucking cringe. Just gonna put on the overpowered teammates, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, look at this boss. There's, like, nothing, no trick, unless you know, like, a very specific trick, maybe. There's, like, nothing you can really do besides sit there and revive over and over. Just, like, shit like that. Somehow, someway, I forgot where this fucking salesman is. Oh my god, he was back at the other place. <laughs> This type of shit, dude. Never win. Who would have thought you had you needed twenty revives to beat the boss without a fucking game inform or without a fucking prima game strategy guide from nineteen ninety five? on tap. Douche-ass fucking game. Queen ain't selling a shit. Queen's a bitch. I talked to all these people and none of them helped me at all with what was upcoming in the game. <laughs> like, Did you guys even play your game once or have one person who didn't know what they were doing play the game? Like, Jesus. And on top of everything, I'm getting these fucking annoying ass dreams some nights. They're just like annoying. The only thing I remember is them being fucking annoying. For like no reason. Because after that, I'll wake up and I'll have a good day and I'll go pet my dog, so why the fuck is this dream so fucking cringe? Oh my god, they're gonna make me... Oh my god, dude. You know, it's like I don't even have patience to deal with simple shit because I had to deal with so many fucking douchebags. actually insane. Should make a fucking save state because this boss is so cringe.
Gonna cringe me that hard, I'll fucking do all that shit. Can't use the techniques, apparently. So what, if I use Cure on him, he's gonna use it on me? Probably not. No, he just... What? He literally just has an attack that... If you attack him, you get killed in one shot. Like, what? That's why I hate this fucking game. All the people who like this game just had a fucking strategy guide and knew exactly what to do, so they thought it was fun, but it's not actually fun. This boss is using the douchiest things on me. What am I even wasting my time here for? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cheat. I'll look up exactly how this boss works, because it's fucking annoying. And I'll gain nothing by doing it the manual way. Only magic attacks work. Like, it'll be some stupid shit, you know what I mean? Oh, you're just supposed to die to him. That's the type of shit. They give you no, like, warning that you just needed to die. So I'm sitting here, like, trying to fight an un basically unwinnable battle without ex an extreme level of information. 7,000 HP. The guy who one hits you. Yep, it was it was magic attacks. I was just joking, but that's actually what it was. <laughs> Fucking stupid ass bullshit. Oh my god, I don't even know if I want to win this either. And if I had just looked it up before the fight, it probably wouldn't be that bad. Oh yeah, fuck this guy. I don't care how winnable it is with knowing the right shit, fuck him. Oh, I hate this queen. Or whatever monster took her over. Oh, I knew this hot girl was- hot girl was gonna be awesome.
Damn, this girl got that good, good magic. Uh, oh, they were like teasing you with the sky world. That's kind of annoying because like you could waste hours there just like wandering or, or like an hour waste wandering around and basically you just needed to run to that boss fight and die. I gotta remember all these fucking doors, so if I ever take a break from the game, it's gonna get frustrating. At least they showed me where to go. Not that I remember how to get there. Oh, here it is. Right. <laughs> Yeah, life's weird. You gotta, like, create your... And it, you know, and it happens again and again. You have to, like, create your own little fucking... Perfect boy fucking world. Big yawn here, she said. I feel that. I don't know. I don't think she gets magic, but we're gonna check if she does anyway. She, at least she told me. I know I should just power up some of the party and be a douche, but I like to play by my own dumbass rules. I would go to the spot at the last one. That's me, man. Wrong choice, Mike. Wait, do I have to fucking douche track all the way back to this spot? Is that what you're telling me? Wow. I wonder if there was another way here. Are they actually gonna make me do this again? And someone said online that you only had to do this once. If they make me do this again, I might just, like, actually quit and never play this game again. <laughs> like, that's where I'm at with it. Not to be like that, but sometimes you gotta. Oh, 
Alright, I'll see you guys later. Alright, this isn't fun anymore.
Thank you.